Okay, so we're just coming up to seven o'clock now, so I'm just gonna get you um, all started. So if you come to the center of the mat today, um, if you've got to hand a um, PVC pipe, a strap, um, a scarf, a belt, whatever you've got to hand, if you've got one of these, that'd be really helpful. If not, don't worry, I'll give you um, an alternative to do without. Um, so just have one of those to hand if you have um, one at home. Um, if not, you can get these on Amazon um, for about two, three quid, and they arrive within the same week. Um, or alternatively, I'm going to start putting some yoga packs together, so keep an eye out for those. Um, meanwhile, though, if you come to the front of the mat, and we'll begin warming up. So standing into Dasana, we're just going to roll the shoulders back and down, maybe five circles backwards. And then five circles forwards. And then from here we're going to inhale to lift one arm up, reaching up tall, exhale, reach over to the other side, inhale back to centre, switch over the arms, exhale to reach over to the other side. We're just going to do five of these, moving with your own breath and your own time. Always inhaling back to centre, last one each side, and exhaling to fold. Come back to centre, take the arms out wide, and we're just going to wrap and let the arms fall around us as we twist to look behind for a couple of rotations. One more each side, and then come back to centre. From here, just take a nice deep breath as you inhale, reach up tall. Really stretch through the arms, feel that stretch in the side body and your spine. And then exhale as you come all the way down into ragdoll. So bend at the knees, it's the first one of the day. Think about drawing your chest over your thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. And just take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale completely and then just take your hands to the floor and step back to down facing dog. Just pedal out the feet, open up the hips, the calves, the ankles, the hamstrings and then we're just going to take the right foot outside of the right hand into a lizard lunge, dropping the back knee to the floor and then inhaling to lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling and exhaling, so you, if you can, tap your elbow to the floor, if not, just reach. Inhale to lift and twist, exhale to tap. So we're just going to do five of these on each side for five. Replace the hands, step back to down facing dog and switch sides as you inhale. So lizard lunge on the left side, dropping that back knee, inhaling to lift and twist, Exhale, elbow to the ground. So you should feel that hip open up. You should also start to feel mobility improve within your shoulders. Four, five, replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. And we're just going to do some down facing dogs to cobra. So pressing through the hands in down facing dog, really feel the stretch in this position as you point your tailbone high to the sky. And then as you inhale, we're gonna roll all the way forward, strap the hips to the floor, look up and come into Cobra. If Cobra is too much, you can always come to Sphinx, wherever you need to be. Then exhale as you tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Two more of those for me. So inhale, roll forward, strap the hips, look up. Exhale, push back. The last one to go, inhale, drop the hips, look up. And then this time as we exhale, we're going to sit back in extended child's pose. So bend at the knees, sit back on your heels, forehead to the ground, and just take three deep breaths. Try and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. The last deep breath all the way in. And then we're going to begin today's session on our stomachs in a prone position. So come forwards on the mat, bring yourself all the way down, grab a hold of your strap, 
if you can, and then we're going to do some prone pass throughs. So you can do this with or without the strap. The strap just helps you um, challenge your overhead rotation range. Um, so you're going to take one end of the strap, wrap it around your hands, take the other end in the other hand, and you're literally going to have your forehead to the floor, inhale to lift and bring that strap all the way back, tap behind, and then inhale to lift all the way over, tap the front. So you're going to do 10 of those in your own time. And as you find that your grip or your mobility um, changes, you can start to work your way in and on that strap, narrowing your, your grip. So if you don't have a strap, you can just go back and forth with the arms, challenge yourself by I'm doing the last few reps without the strap so you can see. So just release the strap from the hand, keep your fingers nice and activated and come back and come forwards. So it's just building that shoulder range. Do two more reps for me, and then we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. So once you're on your hands and knees, I want your hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're just going to go for five cat cows. So we're going to inhale to dip the stomach, look up towards the ceiling, exhale to round through the spine, press the ground away, and open up those shoulder blades. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. See if you can move vertebrae by vertebrae, creating that nice smooth wave through the spine. And really exaggerate each end position as you do this. So maybe count a breath or two. The last one each way. And then take the hands further forwards to the front of the mat. Tap the toes, press up into down facing dog. And we're just going to come all the way through into cobra. So just spend a moment or two in down facing dog, pressing through the hands, opening up those shoulders so your neck is nice and loose. Shake it if you want to check. And then point your tailbone high to the sky. Maybe even bend your knees as you do this. Once you've found that nice long lengthy spine, push the heels towards the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale as you roll forwards and come all the way through to Cobra or Sphinx, Yogi's choice. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the body away from the ground, exhale, let the hips sink towards the floor to find that deeper back bend. And then inhale to find left again, exhale, look over the left shoulder. See if you can see the, left, uh, the right heel if you can. Inhale back to center, exhale to look over the right shoulder. See if you can see that left heel. Inhale back to centre and then exhale to melt forwards on your mat. Take your hands out slightly wider, fingertips on the floor and they're about shoulder height outside of your, your whip. We're going to keep the forehead on the floor, just roll the shoulders back and down, so squeeze them together. Imagine you're pinning a pencil between your shoulder blades and then as we inhale we're going to peel the body off the floor, lifting vertebrae by vertebrae into that cobra peel. And then exhaling to melt forwards, going back down the same way we came up, vertebrae by vertebrae. We're going to do that two more times, resetting each time, finding that squeeze pencil between the shoulder blades. Inhale to lift. Exhale to melt. Last one, reset, squeeze that pencil. Inhale to lift. Exhale to melt. From here, you're just going to take your hands back underneath your shoulders and press up onto your hands and knees and sit back in extended child. So we're going to then work our way through into puppy pose. So option to stay here in extended child's pose if this is enough for you. Option two, take your chin slightly, so lift off the heels slightly, reach further forwards and take your chin to the floor. Eye gaze to the front of the mat. Option three, you can continue all the way forwards until your chest touches the floor, and I always do this with the mic on and it hurts, <laughs> so I'll just move it to one side for a minute. You can grab the end of the mat, see if you can get your chest to the floor, but try not to let your hips go too far forward to keep them stacked above your knees. Hold here for five deep breaths. Opening up the thoracic spine as you exhale, see if you can just let the body melt deeper down toward the floor. 
This should become a bit more comfortable as you continue with those breaths and you might have one or two more breaths now. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come up onto your hands and knees and come into down facing dog. I just put my mic back up. Take your, um, so coming up into down facing dog, just take a moment to pedal it out and maybe just shuffle your feet in just slightly as we're going to come into twisted dog. Taking the right hand to the outside of the left ankle, look up under the right armpit, sorry, the left armpit. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hand and then repeat on the opposite side. So right hand, left hand through to right ankle, look up under the right armpit, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release, and just shuffle the feet back, pedal it out, and then we're going to come into lizard lunge on the right side. So right foot comes through as we inhale, dropping the back knee to the floor, reaching the heart forwards. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, roll those shoulders back and down, and then as we exhale, we're going to push back into pyramid pose. So straightening that front leg. You're keeping your hands on the inside, so this is a variation of pyramid. And then we're going to come into twisted lizard. So we're going to come back down with the knee to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist in your twisted lizard pose. And then take your hand all the way back for a couch stretch, bringing that heel in towards the glute. Hold for three, two, one. And we're going to repeat that sequence two more times. So come back into lizard, reach the heart forwards. So this time you might want to come onto your um, forearms if you can. You can have your toes tucked or untucked, whatever you prefer. And then just hold for three, two, one. Come back up onto your hands. As you exhale, push back to pyramid pose, straightening that front, front leg and finding the stretch in the hamstring. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, come back down into twisted lizard. So knee comes to the floor, lift and reach with the right hand up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, reach back for that left foot. Maybe pulse it a few times and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, and then we'll do it one more time. So it's resetting lizard wherever you're at, hands or shoulder on your forearms. Keep reaching the heart forward. Try not to look down at the floor. Keep reaching forwards, eye gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Come all the way back up, twisted lizard. Oh, sorry, not twisted lizard. <laughs> Coming into pyramid pose. So pyramid pose, straighten that front leg as you exhale, fold the body over that front leg. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, reset, come down to that lizard lunge. But this time, inhale to lift and reach into that twisted lizard. We're there now. <laughs> and then exhale as you lift that back foot, bringing the hand to the foot, pulsing a few times, and then holding for five four, three, two, one, exhale, release. From here, we're just going to come over onto, I've gone the complete wrong way now. So we're gonna come over into ninja. So keeping that right leg forward, we're gonna take the back leg out to the side, squatting over that right leg. You're gonna reach with your nose towards your toes, fingers towards your toes for that big toe. Try and fold the outside edge of that um, straight leg's foot down. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then slowly inhale as you come all the way up into star pose, hands on the hips, finding that length in your spine, we're going to exhale as we come all the way down into a wide leg forward fold. You might want to shuffle your feet out slightly wider if mobility allows, and eventually you might even get the crown of your head towards the floor as you fold down into this pose. From here, just take the left hand into the center of the mat. Inhale to lift and twist with the right hand all the way up toward the ceiling. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release, and then walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat. I'm gonna swivel myself back around to frame that right foot again. Coming down into that low lunge, and then we're gonna step into pigeon. So you're gonna bend that knee, slide the left leg back, Set your hips up level on the mat. Press into the ground if you can. If you need a block or a pillow just to support that front cheek, you can. And whenever you're ready, 
as you exhale, go forward over that front leg. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way back up. Step back with that right leg high to the sky, bend at the knee, take a hip twist. And then release the foot to the ground. Pedal it out. And we'll take a vinyasa and repeat that sequence on the other side. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. So inhale as the left foot comes outside of the left hand this time. Dropping the back knee to the floor into your lizard lunge. So set yourself up. Eye goes forwards, really reach forwards with that heart, really sink into that left hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath, a uh, nice deep breath, not a drink. <laughs> and then we're going to come into pyramid pose. So exhale, come into pyramid pose, straightening that front leg, reaching the body forwards, finding that stretch in the hamstring. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, come back down with that knee into your lizard lunge position, but this time inhale to lift and twist with the left hand up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, reach back, see if you can grab that right foot, bring the heel in towards the bum, maybe pause it a few times, and hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release, and reset. So coming back into that lizard, maybe this time you come down onto your forearms, or maybe you stay where you are, wherever you, you feel is right for you today. Just take a nice deep breath in, Exhale, hold for three, two, one. Inhale to come all the way back up. Exhale to come onto your, into your pyramid pose. So straighten the that front leg, reaching the heart forwards, melting the body as long as you can over that leg almost. Exhale, drop the back knee to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist into twisted lizard, and then reach back to grab a hold of that foot. Pulse this a few times if you can, and then hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, reset. Again, coming back down into that forearm position if you can. Reaching the heart forwards, eye gaze forwards. Do not let your eye gaze drop down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. And then one more, inhale as you come back up onto your hands if you're not there already. And then as you exhale, pull back into that pyramid pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, reset, bring that knee to the floor. Inhale to Twisted Lizard. And then exhale as you reach back for that foot. Bringing that heel in towards your glute, pulse it a few times and then hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release. We're going to swivel around into Nindra and the right way around now so you can see how it should have looked. <laughs> Keeping that right leg out straight, pushing the outside edge of that right foot towards the floor and squatting right over this left leg. From here, you can either stay here or you can reach again with your two big fingers to your big toe, nose towards toes and find that stretch on the inner thigh. Hold for three, two, one, and then inhale as you come all the way up to star. Shuffle the feet up wider if you want to. Hands on your hips. Find that length in your spine. As you exhale, come all the way down into your, uh, your wide leg forward fold. So hands to the floor, crown of the head towards the floor. Shuffle your feet out wider if you feel ready. See if you can bring that forehead, uh, the crown of the head towards the floor if you can. If mobility allows, that's the challenge. And then we're going to take that right hand into the center of the mat this time. As we inhale, we're going to lift and twist towards the left. Opening up the shoulders, hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release. Walk the hands all the way back to the front of the mat. Find a low lunge, step back to down facing dog. And then we're going to take that right left leg high towards the sky into three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, find that hip twist, open up that hip, and then when you're ready, bring that leg all the way through into pigeon pose, sliding the right leg back, finding that connection with the hip bones, heels, sit bones, floor, nice level hip position. Remember to use your blocks or your cushions if you need to. Press into the ground, find that stretch in that right hip flexor, and as you exhale, melt forwards over that front leg. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. 
exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way up. Hands under shoulders, step back to down facing dog. Pedal it all out for a few deep breaths. And then whenever you're ready, maybe pulse through the shoulders and come down onto your knees and sit back in extended child's pose. Take three deep breaths here. Slowly start to inhale as you come all the way up, swivel the legs around and come to a seated position on your mat. Taking the legs out straight in front of you, flexing the toes back towards you, we're going to inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale as you fold forwards over those, those legs, bringing the chest towards the thighs, head toward, uh, nose towards the toes. Just take three deep breaths. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way up. Slide down onto your backs, bringing your knees in towards your chest, hug them with both arms, rock from side to side, massage your lower back into the ground. And then we just take the toes to the ground, heels are lifted and arms go out wide, palms facing down. From here, just drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers to finish. Release off that lower back. Maybe one more each side. And then whenever you're ready, just bring the knees all the way back in towards the chest again, rock from side to side. And then slowly come all the way up to seated in the center of your mats. We'll take one final deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, palms together. As we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.